All right. I got it. You got it? You got it? Yeah, get Okay. Hopefully it's not laggy. I think it could be laggy. See, Possibly. I can't see what it is. Oh, you can, well, just, uh, you're doing perfect. This way a little bit here. Huh. That's perfect. Let me know, guys. Let me know if it's laggy. Welcome in. Welcome in. And Tim, if you're in here, welcome in too, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome in, guys. All right. So let me, I was going to go on the laptop, which would have been a lot easier, but I can't go on the laptop because uh, the internet here is pretty bad. So I tried using the hotspot, but the hotspot, well, T-Mobile doesn't give you coverage here, so... All right, guys, let me show you around. What's going on? What's going on flipping south? Okay, guys, I'm gonna swing this around real quick and see if this will work. I'm trying not to make you guys sick here. Actually, hold that real quick, Mom. Don't do that. Oh, your thumb's in the way. There we go. Let me show them what we're working with here. Welcome in, guys. Finally made it live. Welcome in, welcome in. What's going on, Christina? Welcome in. I'm gonna kind of show you the unit, guys. I'll try not to make you sick because I'm on the phone. Um, we didn't get, like the hotspot doesn't work really good on here. So let me turn it around here. All right, so. This is the unit, guys. Now it's pretty big. Treasure hunt, yes. So the game plan today, guys, is I'm going to uh, take everything to the dump pretty much first and leave uh, anything that I want to keep in here. And then uh, I'll come back for the stuff because I've I've got, normally I wouldn't buy a unit this big because I don't have a lot of space, guys. But um, I can't go to the dump anyways because we're taking a bunch of stuff from the house to the dump. So I figured I would get a bigger storage unit since I had to go a few times. But this is kind of big. It goes far back. And it's got some interesting stuff in here. A lot of garbage, guys. Uh, but still some interesting stuff. I paid 100 bucks for it. And so I'm going to uh, kind of dive in here. A lot of boxes towards here. But then there's a lot of furniture that needs to go in the trash, guys. So we got mom helping us. And I uh, got my box truck. So we're going to throw all the garbage in here. And, uh, and then hopefully get to some of these boxes so we can see what's in here, guys. And I wish I was able to go on the phone because it would be less shaky. So the... Here's the thing. So I actually little I pay I pay um, a little too much for my dump. It's actually a flat fee of 129, so 129 bucks, and it's here in Hillsboro. I could get a lot better deal if I take it downtown Portland, um, but this one's kind of quick and easy. So this one pays 129 bucks flat, and then you got to pay per um, excuse me over per pound over that. So. And this is kind of the beginning unit, guys. There's a lot of that needs to go in the trash. This is a $100 unit, but there's a lot here. So we'll kind of go through it. I'm going to start hauling stuff in here that needs to go to the trash, and Mom will hold the phone. And so we got some mattresses, which is never good unless they're brand new. Then you can take mattresses to the Salvation Army, guys. Um, they do take them if they're in good shape. Uh, but if they're not in good shape, I can uh, always dump them or uh, 25 bucks the Aloha Garbage Company will pick them up by the gar trash can. So, all right, guys, let me give the phone to mom. And uh, each dump, each dump is different, though, guys. Each dump is different. All right, all right. Let's put on the gloves and we'll get started. The first few minutes. Hi, Mama Ventures. Tell them I said hi. The, the, <laughs> the first few minutes is going to be a lot of. Uh, a lot of trying to get this big stuff out of the way so we can get to the boxes and I can show you guys some of this stuff. Um, but for a hundred bucks, I had to go to the dump anyways. And towards the back, it actually looks pretty decent. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys, all right? Oh, I can, Rusted, put that again. I, I can see the chat, but it goes away after a little bit, so. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to move some of this stuff and uh, get some of this stuff. You can pull it this way, mom, so they can see. All right, and uh, try to get some of this trash out of the way so we can get to the boxes, okay? And by the way, I have not been in here yet. So you got a lot of this fake wood. Oh, you can move this one. 
Okay, cool. Got a lot of this fake wood stuff, guys. We're gonna get rid of it. I'll just put everything in here. I think it's going to the trash real quick. Ooh, that's gonna be loud for them. I know. But it comes with a broom, which is nice, which is really common, so I can sweep my own stuff, guys. Is that a freezer? It's a refrigerator. It's in pretty bad shape, though. Um, I'll show you guys. I guess the first little goodie I'll have to go through is got some random tools in here. Um, and remember, guys, we'll, we'll keep everything in here, and then uh, I'll come back for the stuff that I'm keeping. For right now, I'm just going to take everything to the dump, so... We got a chair. I wonder if I can prop up the phone. Four of them. Just like to see. Let me see if I can do that real quick. See how it's on it. I'm gonna see if I can prop up the phone real quick, guys. Um, and see if this will work. Okay. All right. It's not great, but let me see. Sorry guys, one second. Let me see if I can pop open the phone here. Okay. Yeah. That should be good. All right guys, sorry. Does that? That looks pretty good. All right, let's get into this. Oh, I got some shoe boxes up here. It's an oriental box. It's an oriental box. Remember, any personal effects I'll keep behind. Because um, it is sad when people lose their units, but it's a, kind of the name of the game. It's interesting. You see that? This would have been a lot better with my phone, but it's kind of a cool... Is that a rosary? That is cool. And we've got some personal stuff here. Okay, this is a little odd. You guys ready for this? What is it? <laughs> it's uh, teeth. Like, I think these are real teeth. <laughs> I've never got teeth before. Are they before. somebody's baby teeth or did somebody No, these are, these are legit teeth. Well, these, they probably saved their dinner. <laughs> these are big teeth right here, guys. I don't, like. That would be personal. <laughs> I bought a lot of units. I've never received, I've never had teeth in there before. That's odd. Okay, this is just a bunch of paperwork. Let me see what's in here. This one's paperwork too. Yeah. So kind of go through that a little bit. Alright, so this is a big thing. Oh my god. But oh. Seems to be a theme. Yeah. This is real wood here. Teeth for the win, yes. I don't know if they bring much value, but that's uh that's not bad. Let's get some boxes if we can, all right? Been selling a lot of Bibles lately. Teeth are money? Teeth are money? They could be vintage, vintage, famous people's teeth. It could be that. It could be that. All right. Let me know if you guys can see all right. Sorry, this is on my phone again, so I'll try to get some of these. That guy's got a phone call. All right. So, we got some interesting empty boxes there. Trash. There's a lot of trash. It's the reality of buying units. You got a lot of trash. Got trash. All right, remember, if you guys see anything that's worth money, let me know, okay? This is a nice coat, so I will keep it, although the zipper's not working. But um, I'll have to take a look. I haven't sold many of these. This is a vintage one, by the way, so you guys see that brand, just is waterproof on it. This is in the first box, some more trash. Lighter. You guys ready to see if it works? Oh, it doesn't work. But just a 
bunch of clothes in here, guys. Just a bunch of clothes. So this is, uh, we'll go through these clothes and see what's going on with them. Because I do sell a lot of vintage Nikes, so. Since storage units is not my main source of income, but who knows, maybe. Maybe might do a full time. Come on. When you buy your land, it will. Yeah, when I when I actually have room, I might do a full time. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't know if it, this camera's worth anything. Probably not. But I'll have to pull it up. Let's see if it's in here. Oh, no camera in here, guys. Completely empty. No camera. So. Mom is doing the sorting, guys. We have a maximum results. That is some red box. How many in chat? How many in chat has uh, has never paid for the red boxes? And then end up having to pay like the full amount for it. Let me know. I know I have. Like I used to like forget to send those things in constantly. All right. We have some nails. Probably not worth anything. Let me know though. I know those can get expensive. I've never sold any before. Some other. Ooh, this is cool. You guys see that? A little wine topper. I actually collect wine tappers, so that's actually not bad. That's kind of cool. That actually I'll keep. So just some tools in here, guys. You want to put everything we want to keep towards that end? And yeah, I'll put trash on this one. Okay, cool. All right, we have a safe. There's never anything really in safes. It seems like I've got a lot of safes, like... And uh, you always open them up and it doesn't seem to be anything in there. This one is the same thing. It's got a bunch of personal stuff, guys. So I'll give this back. See a bunch of personal stuff. So I'll give this back to the uh, facility. And then I can see if I can get in contact. All right. Do we have some more paperwork here? Yep, more paperwork. Just papers. In this thing. So this box is not much. We have a Gold's Gym brace. Sometimes you can sell braces, but the back brace. So I'll keep that. Who knows? A little pouch. Some pins. Guys, chat is quiet. Let me know if you guys can see it okay, okay? Because it's from it's on my phone. Starbucks, Starbucks mug. And let's see what we got in here. Nope, nothing. Besides a uh, an old glass. So nothing in there. Alright, box one's not looking great. Not looking great. Oh, this is cool. What'd you find? It's a oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I showed him that. I'll actually probably keep that. Yeah, I am. And this oh, actually... my God. <laughs> Did you get powder on you? Oh. <laughs> what is it? This actually may be... I don't know. This one looks pretty cool. I don't know. It looks handmade. Sometimes this may actually sell. It looks handmade. It looks, it's pretty cool, so I'm going to keep that. All right, let's do another box. But this is all trash mom. And you can put trash in the, in the boxes if you want. Yeah, I will. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of that powder. All right, so this one's labeled kitchen. There. Mason jar, you guys, I'm trying to get this little walkway done and then I'll show you some cool stuff that's in the back. There's this really cool, you can't really see it, but it's this massive five foot like watering thing. So I'll have to show you guys. So we'll go through a couple more of these and I'll show you in the back. This is interesting. 
You gonna see one of these little things? I don't sell a lot of this stuff, but we'll have to take a look. It doesn't, looks like tarnished silver, but I don't see any markings on there. So, what do you guys think about that? Like so. That's a keeper. That's a keeper? Mom says that's a keeper, guys. All right, let's show you what's in here. Bunch of bunch of random stuff in here, guys. Pins. See that? Bunch of pins. So, bunch of random stuff in that one. We got a calculator. So, I paid a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Let's we'll check. Some calculators are worth money, some aren't. This one doesn't even have the back, so easy way you can just tap it, see if they're corroded. I go to the bins a lot, and uh, we'll pick up those. It looks like he was a vapor. Got a lot of vaping stuff in here, guys. Anybody saw a lot of vaping? Let me open this up. And lighters, little blowtorch thing. So. Russell Raccoon, do you do any storage units? Let me know. I'm curious. Got some air walks. So my mom's over here sorting guys. So she's, uh, she loves storage units. There's not much besides papers in this thing, all right? Mostly papers. So we'll move it over here. So mom can go through it and we can continue. We've got a problem with the door. Huh? This door needs to be latched. <laughs> okay. I'll put this in there. Okay. There's a lot of boxes in here. So, a lot of boxes. Tony is pretty amazing. Got a bunch of these in there, guys. Oh, I love those. They are pretty cool, huh? They're cool, and people love them. And the I haven't sold any. I mean, well, we did sell those. Um, yes, we sold them uh, to people at our house. Uh, come to the house. Yeah, we sold some of those. Offer up. Yeah, people love them. Yeah, they're cool. Some of them are like that. Little blender, guys. Blender. So this is kitchen, just kitchen stuff then. You obviously have to wear gloves because most of this stuff is just kitchen stuff. Let me put this over here actually. So it doesn't break. Alright, can you move that box for me? Yeah. show you there's two of them in here guys let me show you maybe you guys can tell me if they're worth anything huh i've never sold any of these ready all right so you see that bad boy right there it's massive but then you see this let's see if i can stand up on this and show you guys so look at this bad boy i have to take this it's like clay. 
really cool though. They got another one down there, you guys see it? So, there's a lot down here. Let's, that thing is just big though, it's massive. Oh. Yeah, I'll, let me get let me get this out of the way so you guys can check it out here. This one over here. But yeah, it's pretty big. Grab this. One good thing about having your own box truck is for a while there, you know, I'd buy like two or three units and I'd have to like rent a Penske or a U-Haul and just the time it takes and the, the, the cost of it. But if you guys want a good like cheap, cheap truck, you can go to Penske.com and I was looking to buy a truck through them. I got this one through Bar None Auction. Um, and so this is a good truck, but you also can get cheap ones through Penske. U-Haul actually will sell you their trucks as well. So just an idea. If you guys want a box truck. I think it's going to love all the art supplies. Is there? Yeah. He's an artist now. Let's see. What goodies are in here? Here we go. Ladies? Anybody know about this shoe? to look it up. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep these, you just never yeah. know. Trash. Trash. Oh, we got a mirror, it's broken guys. Bag. Lady stuff. Trash, trash, trash. This is a Sag Harbor bag. Is it? Sag Harbor bag? All right. Foot Joy, number one shoe in golf. Look at this, though, guys. These are brand new. Never been used. Does anybody sell Foot Joy golfing shoes? Let me know. But they're not in bad shape. They're up, they're brand new, so. They're worth selling. They are worth, especially brand new. And with the box. You gonna put that on there? Yep, I got it right here. For the key pile. All right, is there Adidas in here? Are these brand new too? Dude, they're brand new. They're brand new. Wow. I don't know how much these go for on that check, but. Brand yeah, new. It's best to have all prices. <laughs> brand new. Never used. So I paid a hundred bucks for this unit. I mean, that alone. And we just. And I own my own box truck, right? So. Dump fees. Dump fees is, you know, and time, obviously. And space. Space is a big killer for me. I'd buy, I only buy like two units a month, but if I had more space, I'd buy 10, 15. Which I don't care. Which we're looking for. Yes. <laughs> Which we're looking for, Tim, if you're watching. All right. You can use this in the little trash. Yeah, I got this one trash. What do you guys think? Two brand new golfing shoes? That's not bad, right? That's a good start. Ooh, we got we got some stuff in here. I've sold this one's just it's bad. You gotta be careful you don't cut yourself. Alright. The A's. We have the A's. The A's. LA. Cats are a good seller. Ducks. More ducks. A bunch of belts. Careful, there's a lot of knives in here too. I'll sort through it. Um, I, I should probably put my gloves back on. Yeah, you should. But yeah, there's a lot of knives in here. A lot of hats too. I a like lot hats. of hats, yeah. There's a really cool hat mannequin, guys. If you go look at my Instagram, um, it's this black plastic 
um, hat mannequin that does really, really well. So, okay, let's put on the gloves and let's dig some more. Ooh, dig some more. Okay, so know it says belts are good because they hold up pants. <laughs> I love you, man. He's such a good go check out his YouTube channel, Very guys. Positive. Yeah, he is. <laughs> All right, we're getting to the more boxes, guys. And as I get a little further, I'll move the phone in a little deeper, okay? So we have brand new golfing shoes. We have food. You get a lot of food in units. So I bought a unit, not at this one, but the first location that we did. You guys remember that Nike unit I bought from the 19, he was had a bunch of 1980s, 1990s Nike. That unit probably is, it's gonna net me what? Close to seventy thousand. No, we're still selling. Oh, we're still selling it. Like seventy thousand. I bought yesterday. I bought two units. This was what? A year and a half ago. Yeah. And uh, you would never have thought that it had tons of brand new blue tag Nike in it, but it did. And then it also had a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, uh, food and stuff in there too. So it's kind of get it all, I think. Yeah, FBA, yes. I don't do any Fulfilled by Merchant, though. So. Now, it was two units. I can't remember. The one unit I paid 800 and the other one 400 right? Yeah. And you would. Um, so. And it's still paying off. Yeah. I wish I would have got that on film, but, guys, that was before I was doing YouTube. So. A lot of sample Nike wear. But you guys can go to my eBay store, and you guys can see a lot of it's still there. I'm still selling a lot of it. Cupcake thing. All right, let's get it. We'll, we'll hand this one to mom. It's not very exciting. It's not very exciting. We'll move on to something more exciting. Sometimes I think it's more exciting than you do. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. So we have a cool game. All right. And anybody want to play darts? Because I got you if you do. You guys see that? Is anybody in chat really good with darts? That's, that's fun in a garage. Yeah. It's actually a nice one. Um, Your dad used to be expert. My dad used to be good? Yeah. I challenge everybody to come over. My dad passed away when I was like, what, four or five? And um, so I didn't know him really well, but supposedly he was really good at darts. So that's awesome. This is good for Ashley. Birthday party. All right, we have some speakers. Just basic. All right, we're getting closer so I can show you guys more, okay? Let me show you one, one thing here. We'll dive in a little bit deeper here. Give you guys a different view, shall we? All right. All right, guys. So this is what I'm working with here. I need to get this out of here, this big stuff out of here. This is all definitely going to the dump. There's just no money in it, but there's a lot of boxes. Um, this is probably trash, but as we get further in, there's a lot of boxes, guys. So, and that thing is really cool. Does anybody know about that big vase? It's clay. It's like five foot tall, maybe four foot tall close to five foot tall. So let me know if you guys know anything about that, but uh, let's see. So I love selling, and also Craftsman made in the US does really well. So you see there's a lot of boxes in here. We have a lot to go through guys. So a lot of boxes, no tools in here though. No tools in here. All right, just to show you guys what we're working with for those that are new. Back 
here. And go ahead and continue. We have a lot of tools in here. I like tools. There's a lot of clothes we gotta go through. Yeah, it's on too soon. We sure did good yesterday on the Nike clothes. That unit you got yesterday. What? That unit you got yesterday. Oh, yeah. A lot of Nike clothes. Yeah, you guys didn't see it yesterday, but I did a video and I didn't show the clothes, and there was what? A lot of Nike. About 15 or so Nike. And a lot of brand new clothes. Brand new, and there was a lot of Nike sweatshirts and stuff like that, so it actually turned out really well. We Nike had- Nike pants. Yeah. And, and there was, um, how many, how much um, sealed makeup was there? There was- They stole a bunch of the makeup, they had to, because this was like really expensive makeup. There's a huge, huge box full of makeup altogether, and it's brand new, unsealed. Yeah. Oh, you guys, anybody love this game? Yeah. It goes to, it's just a little, but yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's good. Yeah. The dance game, whatever it's called. I was horrible at it. What is this? dog bed maybe what is this or a dog pillow <laughs> what is this guys what if it goes to a playstation 2 i would say it's trash <laughs> huh? that's why i like to have you guys live so you can see stuff that i don't anybody sell barbies i don't sell a lot of barbies i know some of the older ones do well um anybody sell barbies she's beautiful anybody wants her But remember, I'm no expert. That's why I got you guys, right? That's why I got you guys. I'd say this is all garbage. That's, that's not all garbage. <laughs> Mom, it's garbage. It's, yeah. All right. There's some more pants in here, guys. The Barbie has been through the ringer, Connie. You're amazing, Tony. Always supportive of them. Ooh, hoo, hoo. here we go. Not worth a ton, but I'll have to look these up. Got Air Jordans. All right. I mean, they're not brand new, but they're in pretty good shape. Do you have the other shoes over there? Yeah. Okay. They're in pretty good shape. I can't reach anywhere to put them. So, hey. Those are nice. That like paid, that, those, uh, those in the, the baseball paid paid for the unit. So I don't know, I'll have to look on these flip flops, see if they're I mean they're not in bad shape, but I don't sell many flip flops. We have some Wranglers here. So I love that you do this with your mom. That's the point of this guys is I storage units I used to do a lot of and then my uh, two little guys, um, Axel's what five months now four months four months and then Cade's not even two years old so It'll be two next month. and with storage storage units my daily stock trading when i stock trade daily for like four hours and ebay and social media but i love doing storage units i used to do a lot more what's going on flipping how are you I'm gonna use this really old knife to cut through this. Okay, let's see what we got. Man, we have a lot of clothes in here. It's all clothes, we'll let's go through this later. You guys don't wanna see clothes anyways, right? Just all clothes. And they, they got a nice smell to them. <laughs> nice, nice smell. 
Oh! We have a box here, guys. This is the snake box. Are you guys ready for this? Remember says, that unit that had the dead snakes in it? Yeah, I've, I've had... I've had units that had dead snakes, dead turtles. And... Oh. That was bad. Keep the snake box over yeah. there. They're, yeah, they... I mean, they... <laughs> I don't know if they were dead. They... They died and they were just laying story. in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. Because I... That was... Uh, I've done storage units all over Oregon, and that was one in Turner, Oregon. And uh, so that's pretty bad. Don't open a snake box. We're going to open it right now. Over there. Over there. <laughs> over here we're opening it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Here you go, Mom. Some more tarnished silk. Oh, the handle's broken. Oh, darn it. The handle's broken. If it's silver, you can sell it for silver. I don't know if it is silver. We'll check it out. Yeah, I mean, it looks like tarnished silver, but... Uh, I think it might be. Connie is amazing, guys. Connie is amazing. All right. Connie is amazing. Let's look at some more, shall we? All right. Trying to get to the snake snake box, guys. So one second, all right. Wow, there's some sealed speakers back here. Car speakers. We sold a bunch of those. I really like boxes that are under tables because that means they're. As long as there's no other boxes on them, they probably wanted to protect whatever's in there, so we'll see. All right. We'll use the knife. Is that the snake box? This is the snake box. What is going on in here? Wow, this is a snake. It's a snake box. You guys ready? Let me know in chat if you're ready to see this. Let's see, I don't know. I don't even know what's in here to be honest. It's not looking snaky to me. It's not looking snaky. It's not looking. It's not looking snaky. What's going on, Lauren? How are you? All right. So the snake box. It's got a bunch of other boxes in there. Oh, uh, this is all personal stuff. It is sad when people lose units, um, but you know, it's just one of those things. So you got to kind of like give that stuff back, you know, some people are less sensitive to it. Some bullets in here. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a gun, but nine times out of 10, there's never any guns in the cases. I got a BB gun once, yeah. But I couldn't sell that online. On eBay, you have to have a special um, privilege to sell that stuff. I don't even know what that, uh, it's all just, it's all personal stuff, Pretty guys. Boxes. Pretty boxes, but all personal. Oh, uh, wow, that was not very snaky, was it? It was sneaky. <laughs> that was not very sneaky, so yeah. Honestly. I would be lying to say that I, um, normally I'll, I'll purchase a little bit nicer units. And this was actually not a bad unit. We haven't even got through half of it yet, or even 80% of it, but, um, it's nice to be able to put some crazy videos. What's going on, Lauren? Thanks for the super chat. Every time Lauren always gives me a super chat. She's amazing. She's really cool. Hopefully you're going to eBay open 2019 because I'll be there. I'll be there. Did you guys see, uh, that, that cool video I did with eBay, uh, the CEO commented on it. It was kind of cool. Um, he was like, I checked, I don't know what he said. I checked it out or something. I, I put it in my Instagram guys. So that was kind of cool that he commented on that video I did. It was a good commercial yeah, for eBay. The commercial for eBay. So she, she, when she's here, she's going to super chat. I do appreciate, I appreciate more than, you know, um, the support. It's amazing. Shows so much love. 
And I never forget, I wish I could virtually fist pump everybody that helps out, but I don't have that. There's a lot of suitcases back here, but normally it's just closed. This one's kind of heavy though. Oh. Oh. One thing I like about storage units is you can, uh, it's a physical exercise, that's for sure. What is going on here? Just all paperwork. Old newspapers. And old new yeah, but paper sells. Um, there was that storage unit the guy bought all the uh, papers, um, Elvis papers. Right. It was on Storage Wars or whatever. I can't remember. Yeah, I saw it, but yeah, on Storage Wars, you see a lot of old newspapers. You're so, still selling a lot of paper. I don't watch that show anymore. I haven't for a while, but this was. This when was. You first yeah. This was a few years ago. So. All right. All right. Let's do it here a little bit more here. Let's show the people some good vibes. I'm going under. Did not work out well. Once I throw some of this away, one second, guys. Oh. You gotta be careful though, because some old Indian blankets, like old Pendleton blankets, do really well. Okay. Let's get there. You guys ever use these to open up tape? What do we got? More, more paper, more paper, trash, trash, trash. Let's see what's in there. Shoes. I lost my, oh, here it is. I'm saying shoes. You're saying shoes? Hey, we've already got two brand new pair and a pair of Air Jordans, so I wouldn't put it past. And they were in good shape. Oh, how did you know? How did she know? Shoes. I mean, look, I don't know if they're worth anything, but we're going to check them out. <laughs> okay. A bunch of these in here, guys. Here's the problem with storage unit buying. One, um, you can get some pretty affordable storage units, like you know Tim and myself. You know we, you know they're, they're you can buy 50 units for 100, 120 bucks and and be an expert here. But um, the the reason is is a lot of people don't do this is. Um, You've got dump fees, like people see the, the, the uh, TV shows and they think it's all rosy, but you see me here like sweating, going through all this crap here. So um, you do do really well and it's such a fun time and you get a lot of inventory unique. to sell on eBay and you get unique stuff too, but you need the space, which is really crucial. I don't have the space right now um, because I thrift a lot of my vintage stuff. You also need um, time. It takes a lot of time. It's going to take me a whole day to get this or maybe longer to just one man show. Um, you also need a vehicle. Like a lot of people lose a lot of money because they go like I used to rent a Penske and U-Haul, buy five or six units and then um, pick up all the units and take a few days. Um, but the problem is, is you have to have that Penske back and it charges you every single day. So it gets expensive. Um, so now that I bought this truck, for about 16,000, I can have this truck and I can keep everything in here and don't have to run to the dump right away. So there's a lot of pluses and minuses. Like I think I set myself up great. I have the time, most of the time, um, although I do have a lot of other businesses. So I, I have that, I have the truck, I just don't have the space. 
like I had no space. So that's why I can only buy a couple a month. But, you know, obviously when I buy lands and I have lands, right which I'm looking for lands, I'll rent out the house I have and, um, and do more storage units. Cause I, I, I do love it. And you get some good stuff here in Oregon. So a lot of boots in this one. We'll have to take a look at this guys. So, <laughs> but there's, there's more costs that go into just buying the unit. You got to buy the unit. Um, some, some places, um, they charge a, a um, deposit. Um, I don't get charged a deposit here at public storage because they don't charge it here. Extra space they do if you're new. The auctioneer doesn't make me charge it. So you got your deposit, your cost on the storage unit. Then you have your cost on hauling it. Um, you got to figure gas, time, um, which is another thing. And then the big thing is space. So hit the like button, says Connie. Thank you so much, Connie. I love you. It's awesome. All right. All right, so let's take it. Let me show you. We finally got to the the mystery, the mystery. All right, but again, heck, I'm no expert. You guys might want to reach out to people that buy a ton of them, right? Yeah. A ton of them, even if you buy one dollar ones. Even an expert can learn. Yes, even an expert <laughs> can learn. I, I'm always learning. You guys see me? I'm learning a lot here, right? So, heck, I don't know anything, right, mom? You know everything, Wade. You know it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tim, if only I was as good as you, my man, I can just buy a bunch of $150 units. But I don't have the space, so I envy you for that. All right, so this is the inside. This is the big one here. Um, this is really cool, though. And is anyone really an expert? No, I'm learning all the time, seriously. But remember, storage units is not my source of income. It's just a kind of a... It's great income, but it's, uh, I just don't have the space. I wish I had a ton of space. I just don't. I live, work out my garage. So this is kind of cool though. This is clay, but these are big guys. So you can see the bottom of them. So that's kind of cool. But for a hundred bucks, I guarantee I can sell these, the pair of these for way more than that. And they, they look in really good condition. Um, and they're kind of heavy. This one actually does have a crack though. It's kind of hard to see cause it's, it's not uh, not very light in here, unfortunately, but there's a lot of trash in here, guys. This is gonna be a, dump, a few dump runs. A few dump runs. So I wish my internet was working better on my laptop that I brought. I could have done this on the laptop and not on the, not on the phone here. Oh, so good. yeah, battery's good. Let me just check. Yeah, battery's good. All right, guys. I'll try to pull some more out. I really do. This is not the perfect way to take this stuff out of here because I got to like, you should really stick on the big stuff first that's going to the dump. But I kind of wanted to show you guys some stuff that's in the unit. So I'm doing a little backtracking here, but we'll pull a few more boxes out. So. And this is just all kinds of just messed up back here. See what we got. No, I'm just joking, Tim. You're amazing. I need to learn more from you. I know you're in chat, so I'll learn more from Tim. Maybe you can teach me. Oh, this is not not much in here. That's kind of cool. That's a Christmas stocking. Yes. Put this on your mantle. She loves Christmas. Ashley loves Christmas. I can't wait until my boys are little little older. This could be a good year with Gabe. Yeah. But they're not even two yet, so they can't I even can do this. You guys ready for Christmas? Any any Christmas wishes? Anybody wanna get anything? Fifteen bucks? Tim says fifteen bucks. Not bad Tim. Thank you my man. Thanks for helping me out there. And uh who knows maybe I I, I used to sell a lot of these games um, old poker games work really well, guys. When I go to the Goodwill bins, I always pick those up. Um, so those are good. Does it? Oh, yes. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Rusty Raccoon. You see how much of... <laughs> the one I did yesterday didn't have light in it, so I, I thought same facility this one wouldn't. But yeah, that, that helped a lot. 
Rusty <laughs> Raccoon. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much work here. You guys want to open the refrigerator? No. Oh man, this. I told you not to. <laughs> oh, that is bad. That is real bad. Here, let me uh, let me show you guys. I can't I can't not show you guys this. Okay. Oh god. All right. Remember, storage units just like eBay. Which, by the way, guys, eBay opened 2019. I'm going to try to be a speaker. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it would be awesome if I was a speaker or if I wasn't? Let me know in chat. Um, I would love to be a speaker at eBay Open to go over my, my fears of public speaking. So we'll see. But I will show you inside the refrigerator. But uh, give me one second. Yes, be a speaker. Thank you, Jason. So good, okay, so let me kind of explain real quick how the storage auction process works, right? So a lot of ways people can lose the units, and again, I'm no expert, so <laughs> I just had to say that, right? Just a little disclosure. Um, so when people lose units, guys, um, it could, could be because they're incarcerated, they just can't pay the bill, it's really common. You get people that um, lose their unit and their family members go bid on their units. Um, deaths. Happen a lot, that Nike unit that I bought that's gonna net me like 70,000. Um, you guys see all those Nike stuff, that was out of that. And um, that unit alone, probably the, I don't, there was two of them. He worked at Nike and probably his um, family didn't know that they had that unit there because if they knew the unit that was there, they would have picked it up. Um, so there's that, a lot of times family members just simply don't know that their um, family members that passed away has a unit and they never pick it up. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can do it. So long story short, um, the way, the reason there is storage auctions is because the facilities need to recoup the cost of the back pay that these tenants owe them, right? So they put it up for auction. And, um, and so one way they do that is they put in their local newspaper, um, in the ads, there's a lot of places that you can look to find local storage units. Now, the best place that I would recommend is storageunitauctionlist.com. And I don't recommend you pay. I re recommend you do the free version um, and just do the seven days. And there's a lot of different types of auctions, guys. There's caravan auctions. Caravan auctions are basically where you have one facility like public storage or extra space storage or a big facility. And everybody in the cars will follow each other to each location throughout the day. And so there'll be a lot of um, auctions that way. And then there's uh, individual auctions. Like I go a lot to the Portland Wine um, storage facility here and some other locations. And those are individual auctions where you just show up at a time and uh, they'll auction it off. Now, some facilities will have their own auctioneer like Extra Space. I know the auctioneer there really well and a lot of other people do. They're a really cool couple that do this and they used to own a um, brick and mortar location. They no longer do that and now they just do um, auctions in Vancouver and this area for Extra Space. But uh, that being said, there's some places that have auctioneers and then there's some places like public storage who used to have auctioneers and also used to do it on storage treasures. Now what they do is they have the a guy that manages the local area here. He does the auctions. So there's a lot of different ways that you can um, go to auctions. But for people that are new, I recommend storage auction, uh, storage unit auction list.com. I did a video on it. Um, and uh, it basically aggregates all the storage units in one website. So you can go there and you can find type in your address, your zip code, and so you can find all the storage auctions that are going around your area, basically. And that's a really good site to use. So, all right, let's open this refrigerator. Are you ready? I would never do that. <laughs> hey. They it's, smell so bad. But it's not all roses. Storage unit finds not all roses. And they well, gotta, they got, torturing they your got, people? They gotta see this. Okay. They don't wanna see it. They do. Do you guys wanna see it? Okay. Oh, I have no gloves. That's okay. I'll, I'm a man. I can do it without the. Yeah. Cool oh my God, it's disgusting. Close it. Close it. <laughs> close. <laughs> Mom says close it. But <laughs> Connie says I'm gagging. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Remember, the only cost to me is $100 for this unit, the dump fees in my time. So, hey, I know I'm going to make money on this unit, but uh, 
that's definitely going in the in the dump for sure. It won't be off that refrigerator. <laughs> it won't be off that refrigerator, Mom said. All right, let's pull a few more things, and then uh, and then what I'll do is I'll get this big stuff out of here, organize the box truck, and then I'll go live again and show you all these boxes because there's a ton more boxes. I just really can't get to them with all this like drawers and dressers. And another, another tip too, guys, is um, don't get discouraged discouraged with big bulky stuff. So there's a few things that you can do that works for me. Um, you can partner with somebody that owns a brick and mortar, um, like Tim, um, or somebody else that owns a brick and mortar. And you can uh, probably sell the big furniture or the big bulky items to them, or, or you can probably maybe do like a consignment deal. There's a lot of places around Portland that I've done consignment deals for, um, where they basically sell it and they get a portion, you get a portion. Um, but the one of the best movers for me is um, dressers. So dressers that are solid wood dressers sell really well locally. So when you get a dresser that's solid wood, um, those sell extremely fast for me locally. And remember guys, there was a point in which I was buying, you know, 10, 15 units a month before my two kids were born. So um, now it's, I'm lucky if I get one or two in, but that being said, you know, when you do get big bulky items and you need to get rid of it, cause I'm working out of a brand new house and a garage, right? So I don't have a lot of space. I have no yard, no room. In fact, I can't even put any H HOA wouldn't even put me, let me put a shed in my back of my house guys. So I have like no room. Um, but if I, if you have no room, dressers do really well, you can sell dressers. So just keep that in mind. All right. So what I'm going to do guys is let me get rid of these big bulky stuff. I'm going to get rid of this, put it in the box truck, get rid of some of the other stuff. Um, I'm going to get rid of this dresser here and, um, and HOAs suck. Yes. I, well, I'm going to be buying another house. My house I bought, it's brand new and it won't be HOA. Won't be HOA. Um, well the house I bought's brand new, but the next house I'll probably build my own house. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of this stuff here, get rid of all this. And then I'll go live again because there's a lot of boxes guys down here. This whole thing is full of boxes. So I'll go live again and show you guys what the good stuff is. Cause a lot of times guys they'll put in storage units, it's common that they'll put the better stuff in the back and put the crappier stuff in the front because that's how they loaded it up, right? They loaded it up in their truck or their rental and they put the good stuff in the back and then they loaded all the other stuff up with big bulky stuff and, and kind of the crappier stuff. So, uh, but there's some brand new speakers back here. I already got those three brand new pairs of shoes. Um, so I already paid for the unit without even going any further. So, All right, guys, give me uh, give me about 20 minutes. I'll go live again on my phone, and we'll show you the good stuff. Thank you so much for, for coming. Tim, appreciate it, my man. Thanks for coming. And, uh, and uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon. See ya.